Yeah, we went over to the YMCA and helped out some little kids. It was a lot of fun. Well, that, was, that was really fun. Like I was interacting with the kids and interacting with everybody. We were just having fun. And we helped out a lot of little kids today. You know, I'm sure we made their day. They don't have a whole lot, so it was, it was fun just, you know, giving them little tips here and there. But uh, it seemed like they had a great time, which was the, the most important thing. That was a lot of fun, you know. I know a lot of people think, you know, I'm kind of a child, I'm a child of heart, and, but you know where I am. I really enjoy things like that. Tonight from Chicago down to the final four. And it's the matchup between Latin America and Team Africa. Guerrero all the way to the cup. What about Steven Adams on the follow? Looking for pace, transition, open floor, got to the cup again. 11-0 Latin America. He says Sumare got the first point. Well timed, Peter Jerkin. That's what he does extremely well. Deus Berto Santo. The triple is there. Leonardo Mendo. Rosetta de Oliveira. Mamba. Teardrop from the holster. Team Africa has been able to find themselves back in this game. The dog the quarter. Keep it going. Penner Burrell. This kid is like a magician out there. He's going to be special one day. Now this kid can flat out play. And it's all over. So Latin America prevails by 14. The Gatorade player of the game, Cesar Guerrero. I tell you, this young man, not on a lot of big, big college radars. I think after today, though, and this week in particular, he's on a lot of radars now. All right, these two teams played Saturday night. Eddie, your team won. The game on Saturday night, the intensity level was up versus every other game that we've seen all week here. What do you expect tonight, and what did you take out of that game from Saturday? Well, I expect Eric probably was just beating them up in the <laughs> pregame game because we've had success against them this summer. We have some guys that can flat out play the game of basketball. But the big key is... Eddie outcoached our staff without a question. Well, I was going to say, Eric, you're getting a break tonight because his assistant coach, who's me, isn't going to be on the bench tonight. So yes, he's going to be on it. But we're joined now by Isaiah Austin, who's going to be playing in this game coming up. You've got a decision to make. Yeah, I took my time, uh, talked over with my parents, and uh, we came to a conclusion that uh, I'm going to commit to Baylor. Committing uh, to the Baylor Bears of Scott Drew. Yes, sir. Yeah, very, Congratulations. Yeah, it's a very exciting day for me. Uh, I chose Baylor because they're academics, you know, and it's close to home. And I promised my mom that she'll always be able to watch me play basketball as long as I'm here. So nice. as long as she's there, if she's happy, I'm happy, you know. Peter Jerkin, we understand you're also ready to make a commitment college-wise. Uh, yeah, um, I'm the start to the commit to uh, Indiana University. Good for you. Yeah. They're well, happy right now at Assembly Hall. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's well, good. It's good college. Yeah, and, yes. uh, good coach, and I like it. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And now have a great game. Here we are at the championship game. So this Adidas Nation for these kids is tremendous. Isaiah Austin cleaning things up underneath. On the break, the UNC finished Deuce Bello. Nice pass by Purvis. Cameron Ridley. Plumley. And the little oh, turnaround. Like that. Nifty move. Bello on the back door. Cody Zeller though, in the early running for the MVP of this championship game. So the seniors on top of the juniors by four. Cook. And Purvis is there. Shabazz Muhammad, he's the leading scorer of the game. Ralph finds Coleman who's going to the line looking for the three-point play. LeBron Nash, he's got that it up. Getting away now from the juniors. Oh. 
behind his back. Oh. Oh. Court vision. And Quincy Litter slams it home. Quinn Cook, D3. Doesn't make any difference. The winners, the seniors, what a way to go out. Quinn Cook, our Gatorade player of the game. They uh, beat us the first game, so, you know, we definitely want to make a statement. And, uh, you know, they're like our little brother, so, you know, you never <laughs> want your little brother to ever they beat you now, up. You yeah, so, it. definitely, uh, that's a heck of a team, man. It was a good win. So. It don't matter. We want to win a count. Orlando, Las Vegas, Portland, now Chicago. What a run it's been. I'll tell you, this this has been a rock star tour. And uh, <laughs> this tour that we've uh, Adidas has put together and with the coaching staff and again the players, everyone from at Adidas, it's been a wonderful uh, ride. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, again, I've been here since like since like the beginning of Adidas Nation, which is probably like three or four years ago. So. Uh, it's starting to get a lot bigger. Um, I think they're lot, doing a lot of stuff in the community. I mean, it's great. Uh, there are great, uh, you know, coaches, great players, and uh, it's uh, a unique uh, experience for our young players. It's a first class, well run. Everybody buys in. The coaches, everybody, but everyone at Adidas. This is a first class event that I'm proud to be a part of. I really like Adidas. You know, I wanted to do this with Adidas Nation. And I really want to um, be a Adidas kid. You know, if I get, if I make it to the pro, I'm be able to um, go to Adidas. We formed a brotherhood here. You know, I'm, I love the Adidas Nation. I can't wait to come back next summer. I mean, it was a great experience showing how I play with other players in different countries. I think it have a great effect on them. Great overall. Uh, you know, it ended with a great, great uh, arena, great environment. Uh, you know, I, I've had great, uh, you know, NBA coaches tell me what to do all week. Um, you know, the best competition around the country, and I really enjoyed my time here. It's been a wonderful week. You know, the city of Chicago has been great. Um, us having the CBS College Sports here live has taken this whole project to a whole nother level. I think it's only going to get better. 